Hi guys and welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Today I am in one of my favourite cities in the UK and possibly in the world because it is one of the best beer cities in the world. Not only do you have the likes of Cloudwater and Track and hell, JW Lees, you've got some of the most amazing bars and we're here in the Northern Quarter which is the heart of it all. We're here in Manchester and our first stop is an amazing old school pub that was the birthplace of one of the best breweries in this country. Let's go to the Marble Arch. So the first stop on our Manchester crawl absolutely had to be the Marble Arch. Small confession, I have not been here before, but I now live here. <laughs> because these places could serve soda water or worse, Fosters, and I would still drink here every single day if I could. It's the most beautiful pub. But it happens to be the birthplace of, and still the brewery tap of, Marble Brewing, uh, who if you haven't come across, make some sensational sort of traditional bitters uh, and pints. It's a beer called Pint and you should be able to call a beer pint, even if it's not in a pint, trading standards. However, uh, they also serve lots of amazing uh, modern styles. <laughs> Manchester, <laughs> they've done a great mango, is it a mango kolsch I think that was incredible and some big IPAs in cans now, and they're really, really nailing it. But if you come here, you can drink that kind of stuff, but you can be in this kind of beautiful, old school, just stunning pub with amazing food. So start your night here, and then we can crank it up at the next place, which is the craft beer bar of Manchester, Sports Street Beer House. Do you, do you know what I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen a bucket hat. Oh, wow, okay, that is right, unusual. Second stop, and if I'm honest, it's between here and Beer Moth is like the place for the nerds to come to in Manchester, and that's Poor Street Beer House. Three floors of some of the best beers you can get in the country. Amazing keg, amazing cast because you have to have up north. Served on a sparkler, but I'm not going to hold that against them. Uh, but Poor Street Beer House does buy some of the best beer. It's right by the station as well, so when I come up here for work quite a lot with Cave, I always come here for a quick Swifty to pretend I'm working. Uh, it's a lovely atmosphere, lovely staff, and incredible beer, and really good in the evenings. Next up, we're going to get some food at an amazing place. It's a restaurant, but it has 12 taps. Where else are you going to eat? Pub crawl needs a good food stop or else you can get in real trouble and it doesn't come much better than a place like Patreon which is in the northern quarter. It's got 12 taps, loads of stuff in the fridge. I just had myself a Lervig Pearl of the Sphere, a New England IPA and I'm having a Paul Arnon now because I know what's coming next and the most incredible food um, which is very easy to make sexy as you'll see from the shots that are just coming up now. Beer and food are born to go together just not not because anyone's trying to be wanky about it, it's because it's it's meant to go together. Now restaurants like this should be more common. But if you're in the northern quarter and you like food that's really delicious, really simple with amazing beer, patron is just incredible. So the next stop is something I put to every single uh, where to drink video that we do which is somewhere where you can get some incredible lambic, which is, uh, in this case, a place called Bok, which I've never been to, but I've looked at their beer list, it's sensational. I've been told it is like walking into Belgium. I've also been told that they do fondue. So not only is this a trip through space, it's a trip through time, as we go back to the 80s. becoming a bit of a tradition on the craft beer channel that when we're on a pub crawl we basically seek out the first place that has Dree Fontaine in and usually it results in a 10 out of 10 bar and I have to say having never been to Bok either it really has I mean the crowds tell their own story <laughs> 
Uh, it's a Wednesday. It's 10 past 10. 20 past 10. My. They have amazing fondue, which I'll be back for. They have amazing lambic. And they also have Gouden Dog, my favourite Belgian strong. And it feels a little bit like you're in Belgium, like these little cubby holes, this lovely, well kept leather furniture, um, and leather bound books that smell of rich mahogany. We are on to visit four, which you might be able to tell from the babbling. Uh, our final stop is Beermarth, which uh, is probably the only place in Manchester that will have a better Belgian list than this place, as well as Taras Bulba on tap, which is what's going to happen till the small hours. Catch you at Beermarth. from the northern quarter, but less than a couple of minutes walk is Beer Moth. It's started as a bottle shop, which is one of the best bottle shops in the UK, and is now this amazing beer cafe that's here. Uh, they have Taras Bulba as their house beer, which is an amazing place to start, and it only gets better. Uh, let's just cut to me in the cellar. Cascade. American Solera. Oh, more on that. Uh, then we get down here. You can see how excited I got by that, so I picked a Blackberry Farm Belgo IPA which was insane! Strawberry and bread and pear, man, it's such a, such a great beer. And that's just sat there in the cellar waiting for you when you come here. Uh, Manchester is one of the best beer cities in the UK. You've got Bach that does Belgian beer. You've got these guys that bring stuff from the US that you don't really see. You've got like Portree Beer House that brings the best in the UK. And then you've got Marble Arch, which is one of the original places where craft beer really took off in the UK. And we've done a bit of a history through the whole thing. So please do come to Manchester, give them a go. Let me know where you like to drink in Manchester, whether it's Cloudwater Barrel Store, or whether it's the Marble Arch, or even old school with the JW Leeds. Um, but you can't miss out on Manchester's business. Cheers.